South Kalimantan, Indonesian, Kalimantan Selatan is a province of Indonesia. It is located in Kalimantan, the Indonesian territory of Borneo. The provincial capital is Banjarmasin. The population of South Kalimantan was recorded at just over 3.625 million people at the 2010 census. The latest official estimate for January 2014 is 3,913,908. One of five Indonesian provinces in Kalimantan, it is bordered by the Makassar Strait in the east, central Kalimantan in the west and north, the Java Sea in the south, and east Kalimantan in the north. Geography <inaudible> 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 South Kalimantan Province with Banjarmasin City as capital consists of 11 regencies and two cities is geographically located between 114 degrees 19 13, 116 degrees 33 28 east longitude and 1 degree 21 49 4 degrees 10 14 south longitude. Based on the location, South Kalimantan Province area only 6.98% of Kalimantan Island overall, which is 37.530, 52 square kilometers with boundaries as follows Central Kalimantan Province to the west Makassar Strait to the east Java Sea to the south East Kalimantan Province to the north In terms of topography, South Kalimantan Province consists of four parts, alluvial land, swamps land, hills and mountains. Land inclination with four class classification showed that 43.31% of South Kalimantan Province has 0-2% land inclination. The extensive details according to land inclination are as follows. 0 to 2 percent, 1.625.384 ha, 43, 31 percent. Greater than 2 to 15 percent, 1.182.346 ha, 31, 50 percent. 15 to 40 percent, 714.127 ha, 19.02 percent. Greater than 40 percent, 231.195 ha, 6, 16 percent. The area of South Kalimantan Province, according to altitude classes, are divided into six altitude classes. Indicate the area of South Kalimantan Province mostly located at altitude class greater than 25 to 100 meters above sea level, i.e. 31.09 percent. South Kalimantan Province area flowed by many rivers. The rivers include Burrito, Riam Kanan, Riam Kiwa, Balangan, Batang Alai, Amandit, Tapan, Kintap, Batulasan, Sampanahan, etc. Generally, these rivers originate from Maratus Mountain and empties to Java Sea and Makassar Strait. The annual rainfall intensity is high, ranging between 2,000 and 3,700 mm. The mean number of rainy days per year is 120. Burrito is the main river, used as a transportation route to the northern part of the province and to central Kalimantan. Other smaller rivers are mostly springing from the Maratus Mountains. The main natural resources in South Kalimantan are forest and coal. Coal deposits are found over almost the whole province, and in some places they are exploited commercially. Other minor resources are oil, gold, gem stones, quartz sand, phosphate and granite. Topic. Administrative divisions Topic. There are 11 regencies and two cities in South Kalimantan as listed below with their areas and their populations at the 2010 census and according to the latest official estimate for January 2014 together with their administrative capitals. Topic. Economy Topic. In 2010, South Kalimantan's exports grew by 27%, the highest increase among all Indonesian provinces. The province's total exports rank seventh out of all provinces. In 2008, the number of visitors to the province was 339,000, of which 21,000 were international visitors, mostly from China, Philippines, and India. Topic. History Topic. The history of government in South Kalimantan is expected to start when Stan Kingdom of Tanjung Puri about 5 to 6 century AD. This kingdom is located quite strategically in the foot Maratus and on the banks of large rivers that later became the city are quite advanced. 
Kingdom of Tanjung Puri could also be called Kahuripan, who is known as the first container of hybridization, i.e. tribal engaging with all its components. Afterwards, migrants from Java started establishing the kingdom of Negara Dipa. In the 14th century appeared the kingdom of Negara Daha which has elements of Javanese culture due to silting of the river in the territory of Dipa. An attack of Java destroyed this Dipa kingdom. To save the kingdom, the new dynastic leader Sari Kabarangan Maharaja immediately ascended the throne and moved the government in the downstream direction, i.e., toward the ocean in Mahara Rampiao. The Dipa kingdom was spared from total destruction, it can even organize themselves into a state with a name of Daha with the king as the main leader. State Daha eventually declined with the advent of the power struggle that took place since the Prince of the Ocean to take up arms on the estuary, as well as build a house for the Grand Vizier who was in the estuary. The main leader of the Pati named Masi. While the residents of the Masi called Bandarmasa. Raiden Samudra built a palace on the river bank to the Pati Masi Kuwanthim. The city later called Banjarmasan, which is derived from the word Bandarmasa. Banjarmasan kingdom evolved into a major maritime empire until the late 18th century history changed when the Dutch destroyed the kingdom of Banjar in 1612 by the king when at Panambahan Marham Banjarmasan, the centre moved to Kayu Tanji kingdom, which is now the town of Martapura. Early 19th century, the British began to look Kalimantan after expelling the Dutch in 1809. Two years later placing the resident to Banjarmasan namely Alexander Hare. But his power is not long, because the Dutch again. The new round of South Kalimantan's history began with the rise of the people against the Netherlands. Panjaran Antisari as leaders of the people of the brave. He died on October 11, 1862, and his descendants as an advanced form Pegustian Kingdom of Banjarmasan, which finally abolished the Dutch army Malay Marsos, while Sultan Muhammad Seaman who became its leader died in battle. Since then, South Kalimantan was fully occupied by the Dutch. This area is divided into a number of departments, namely Banjarmasan, Amuntai and Martapura. Furthermore, based on the organic division of Indisch Staatsblad 1913, South Kalimantan is divided into two sections, namely Banjarmasan and Hulu Sungai. 1938 was also formed with capital government Borneo Banjarmasan and first governor drive. Haga. Right after Indonesia's proclamation of independence the 17th of August 1945, the government under Sokarno and Hatta appointed I.R. H. Panjaran Muhammad Noor as the governor of the whole of Kalimantan on 18 August 1945, its capital was Banjarmasan. Later on, it was decided to divide the area into several provinces. On 7 December 1956, the province of South Kalimantan was formed out of these areas, Kotawaringan, Dayak Besar Great Dayak, Daira Banjar Banjar region, and the Federation of Southeast Kalimantan. Later on, Pasir Regency a part of the Southeast Kalimantan Federation was transferred to the province of East Kalimantan instead. Furthermore, on 23 May 1957, Kotawaringan and Dayak Besar removed themselves from South Kalimantan to form their own province, Central Kalimantan. Demographics Ethnicity <demographics> 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 The majority of the population in South Kalimantan are ethnic Banjar which consists of three groups, namely Banjar Kuala, Banjar Pahaluan and Banjar Batang Banu. There are also ethnic Javanese, Madaris and Sundanese who came as migrants. In coastal areas Tana Bumbu and Kotaburu also dwells ethnic Bugis, Bugis Pagadan, and Mandar originating from Sulawesi. Dayak in South Kalimantan region occupies around the Marathas Mountains Dayak Bukit and at the bank of the Burrito River Dayak Bukumpai. Other ethnic groups in South Kalimantan, namely the ethnic Arab descent contained in Banjarmasan and Martapura. There are also ethnic Chinese origin who inhabit the area of Chinatown in the city of Banjarmasan and Sungai Parrot in Pelaihari China Parrot. Language. The language used in everyday life by Banjarese as a mother tongue and as a lingua franca for the people of South Kalimantan generally is the Banjar language which has two major dialects, namely Banjar Kuala dialects and Banjar Hulu dialect. 
Dayak tribes who inhabit the southern region of the Marathas Mountains spoke the Dayak Marathas language. The Dayak Dusmala that use Eastern Burrito language inhabit the northern region of the Marathas Mountains uses the Dayak Manyan Warukin language, Dayak Samihan language, Dayak Dusan Deya language, Dayak Lawangan language, and Dayak Abal language. While the Dayak Biahu that uses the Western Burrito language inhabits the streams of the Burrito River uses numerous language among others Dayak Bakumpai language and Dayak Barangas language. The Dayak Nahu language, a language originating from central Kalimantan is used as a liturgical language in the Borneo Evangelical Church headquartered in Banjarmasan. Religion Islam is the majority religion adhered to around 96% of people in South Kalimantan. There was also Christian, Hindu and Buddhist communities as well as the Kaharingan belief embraced by the Dayak people who lived around the Marathas Mountains region. Tourism <inaudible> 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 The tourism sector is a potential business opportunity in South Kalimantan as many of the attractions that are frequented by tourists, both from within the country like any of the foreign countries. South Kalimantan has almost all types of natural attractions such as the sea, beaches, lakes, and mountains. Besides South Kalimantan tourism is also heavily promoting the typical culture, such as the floating market festival, festival tanglong, and others. Besides the natural and cultural attractions, South Kalimantan also famous for culinary tourism. References, <references>